Suppose we really don't really know models. Um, we don't know which is the right model. We have views of the world that are in some sense simplified. In order for me to think about the future, I have to at least start with some type of simplified notion of what it is. But then I know that, that that's a simplified notion, but it kind of can't get everything. We can't write a model that's fully descriptive. It defeats the whole point of it. And so it's like a third degree of kind of uh, issues which you have to wrestle with here. Okay, let me try to then give you, kind of put some more a concrete example maybe what you're saying so the first model is i'm flipping a coin yes i know it's 50 percent chance of heads 50 percent chance of tails yes and i just don't know whether it's going to be heads or tails correct second model is i'm flipping a coin i don't know the chance that it's heads versus tails but i can see a bunch of flips and i can start learning hey it's 58 percent heads 42 right. percent tails right the third one, I don't know if I'm flipping coins, spinning a roulette wheel, right. pulling balls out of an urn. Right. I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Yeah. And I don't know what's generating the world. Yeah. And I'm gonna model it as flipping coins, even though maybe it's actually the guy spinning a roulette wheel and right. my whole model is goofy. Right. Those are kind of like the, yeah. with those the three different levels. Yes. Three absolutely. different levels. levels. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when it comes to thinking about macro and finance, you yeah. think it's important to realize that maybe we're kind of toward that third one and right. not so much in certainly yeah. number one. Yeah. I think most people would say we're not in number one. one. Number two, but we may actually be closer to something number. more like number three. Yeah, I think that's true. I mean, you know, the market economy, you know, the markets, economies we're facing that, that, that involve uncertainty are, are fairly, the, the underlying environments are you know, fairly complex in some sense. And, and we do have to think about things in a, through some simplified notion. And, and the whole challenge of this third perspective is to make it so it's not destructive. You can say, well, this is just impossible, let's go do something else. Which is, of course, really a useless perspective, I think. Uh, but, but, there is, but, there in, but there are insights, insights from decision theory, insights from statistical um, thinking about, you know, when learning is easy, when it's hard, when it's challenging to figure stuff out. Um, there's tools which you can bring to bear on this that I think can really help, help in thinking through these issues. Now, haven't you also emphasized like a fourth layer, which is what happens in a world where me and everybody else is living in this third right. case and we're all trying to figure it out right. simultaneously. Yeah. So the thing we're trying to figure out is actually changing. Yeah as we change our yeah. own behavior? I mean, doesn't that add another dimension of complexity to it? There's this very interesting interplay between, I'm this external observer facing all these issues, trying to understand things, but then I'm trying to model people themselves that are also engaging in this type of uh, challenges, and how do you connect those things together, which is uh, um, this kind of, I sometimes try to contrast this inside versus outside perspective. As an outsider, I'm trying to, I've got people inside my model and I need to think about how they're coping with uncertainty and then I as an outsider have to wrestle with those same issues and, and, uh, and, the, and the interplay is both fascinating and challenging. We see this unfolding as the economy is evolving here, right? Yeah. We go through, you know, you, you think about people's perception of the world in 2007 yeah. and their perception of the world in 2017, Absolutely. a decade later. Yeah. And what they think is possible or likely yeah. seems to be quite different today than it was Absolutely. 10 I mean, years ago. Like now we're engaged in these debates. If we look at uh, kind of uh, Gordon and Mulk here at, at, um, at Northwestern, um, has, has all the great technology advances already happened and we're gonna, we're gonna be having very limited technological progress going forward or, or, or there are unforeseen great things that are gonna happen in the future? Are, are, are we going forward on some secular path of low growth or, just, uh, or, or are there you know, very rosy prospects going forward? Um, I mean, they, I think those are real uncertainties. Uh, I, I, we can form guesses on that. We can form speculations on that. Um, do we know exactly what the answers are to those questions? No. But history is somewhat of a lesson here. We know if you look back at the last 120 years, I, I'm always amazed when I look at, I mean, yeah. I'm not a macroeconomist, but when I look at the 120 yeah. years or so of progress, and you look at the broad swath of that history, yeah. it looks like a pretty steady process. Yeah. But right. if you then just take that same picture and cut it into 20 or 30 year pick yes. segments, it looks very different. Absolutely. It's, it looks like you know, we've been growing at a constant rate for roughly a long period of time. That model's not so terrible when you step back far right. enough. Right. 
But even if you look at a couple of decades, you'll say, wow, Absolutely. there's a 15 year period where we grew very rapidly yeah. and there's another 15 year period where yeah. we grew much more slowly. Part of what I found interesting, at least some work that's been in the macro asset pricing realm, is this notion where uncertainty about long-term stuff, about, where, about long-term growth rates and the like, has important implications for even short-term risk return trade-offs that show up in financial markets, just all through this kind of expectations channel and, and, and how people are kind of wrestling with no, these notions of, uh, of uncertainty. So this notion that you can kind of separate easily long-term stuff from short-term stuff is just not, is just not the right view of this. Mm -hmm.